Hello everybody, my name is Nidale and welcome to the channel. Hi! Today, we are heading to the flea market. Last week wasn't so good, because I only bought two things, but hopefully today will be better. Better. It's very foggy outside. But yeah, um, we arrived at 8.05, which is kind of late, in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully there will be some still, Ooh, still some more. good stuff. No, last week there was more vendors than this. Look at all the vendors. Yeah, they, they started expanding it because more people started coming. Hey! Go over there, it's a, it's a lot of tools. I don't know. How much? This is the cheap palasa. Which one, Baba? This one. Let me see. That's you. Yeah. I got 10 bucks for this one. 10 bucks? It's original one. Yeah. This yeah. one original too. They were in like five, five bucks. Only. Five bucks. 10, five. Seven dollars? You can give me for those two. Give me ten bucks for this two. I don't really want this one. Okay. You do. Give it to her. Huh? Give it to her the money. No, no, no. Seven, yeah. Seven for this? Okay. Here. He's up in the top five. Thank you. Be this is another 10 10. Morning. Do you have any watches? Appreciate it. Yeah. A couple of these are need work and stuff. There's a Tissot. And how much? You, how much for this? Down the crown for it. Oh. runs automatic. That's a good one too. Sterling silver case wind up. How much are you asking for the Tissot? Uh, the way it is set, I'll do 35 on it. That's pretty good. Down the crown, it's a $250 watch. Neighbors, okay. Snoopy. <laughs> yeah, that works. What's that? Ah! What you know, wait. I was gonna here. say, sweet. This is where I live, actually. Yep. I can live right down the road. This is a good one. It's getting better and better. Yeah, they used it to suck to be something good. Something different. They only have it three times a year. So. You do 65 on these four? Oh, I couldn't do that, man. <laughs> How much could you do? Yeah. Yeah. Give me your best price. Yeah. I'm trying to do here, man. I would do 
do 80 bucks, man, if you want. I'd be 80 bucks? Like do, yeah. $70. Yeah, I can't do it, man. I'll get rid of all four. This one here, I give them, you know, I give 25, 30 for just that one, so that's a good watch. It's going to be cleaned up. You get more of your money out of that, too, so, man. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, that'd be about it, man. No. 75? 75. Give me your 75. Okay. <laughs> He's straight, yeah, he's straightforward with it. Yeah. Nope, 75. Se will you? He's like, no, will okay. you do? He's like, 75? I put those here. Back row, man. Yeah. 70. Yeah. 70. Do you come out here every every weekend? Good to see the younger kids getting into it. Yeah, that's what I like seeing. Keep that thing going, man. A lot of nothing in the video game. Yeah. What you reselling? You yeah, resell. Resell. Cool. Yeah. We're on eBay, or you have your own little site going eBay, on? eBay. Yeah. For you, man. For you. Oops. There you go, man. Yep. Thank you. How much you have on your watches? One dollar each. One dollar each? Okay. Mm -hmm. movement I'll just give you five right. for everything right yeah you want a bag yes Let me just handle this. This is probably four dollars. One, two, three, here, and four, five. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Morning, Rob.
a seagull. How much you got on these two? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. See you. Wait. You started it. Damn, this guy's a good hot five stuff, don't you? Yeah. I recognize the uh, movement too. Seagull. Probably like 15. 15 for both. Probably like three. I'll be back, okay? All right. You need 12 for both? Running out of money oh, here. Probably good. Probably good price. Spent so much money today, so I'm trying to cut back. All right, I got Change your 20. And actually, can you replace this battery or see if this works? Yeah. I'm going probably, okay? yeah. probably do it at home. Yeah. So. That's, it looks, I got that because it looks like another Casio I bought a while back. But I sold it and now I want it again, so. You sold one, now you want it again. Yeah. But I got the last one blue. I think you showed me. Okay, there you go, Theodore, right? Yep. Wait a minute, it's working now. Oh, 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 oh. We can all wash over here. Yeah. No, I bought that for someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need help too? Yeah. Yes, watch. I need batteries. Yeah, I know. I the uh, the man's is so quicker. Yeah. See you. Huh? I spent like close to a hundred dollar today. Got the GoPro on it. Yeah. Oh, how much you got it for? Two for five dollars. It looks so nice in the back too. No, this is this is good right here. If it works, this is big money. Yeah, it looks new too. I would wear this. Yeah. <laughs> Seiko, you can still sit down there. How much you got it for? Five dollars. For both? Yeah. yeah, okay. I pay you. <laughs> no, that's your money I spend. Oh, okay. Somewhere. Yeah. Hello everybody, I'm back at home and I'm going to show you the stuff that I found. I am doing a voiceover, so this might sound good, it might sound bad, I have no idea. So, um, uh, we're going to start off with some bands that I got from the lady that I got for cheap. She was selling everything for a buck and uh, I got half of a Seiko band, I, don't, I sh should have uh, tried to find the other one. And this is really cool here, so I found a Bolova band actually, so super cool find there. Um, I also found this Loris digital watch. It's not worth it's not worth that much. Uh, it looks new, old stock. There's still the original sticker on the back, so I'm not sure what that is worth. But it's probably a junk watch. Maybe the band is good. Okay, next up we have just a uh, cheap Geneva watch. It's not Geneva, but I broke the band, um, so. Can't really wear this. I was good. I was gonna buy this watch to salvage the band to give them to my friend, and I tried to, um, uh, tried to shorten it, but uh, just broke into pieces. I I broke a band and I can't put it back since one of the split pins are so stuck and I bent it. So it's okay. The watch is working though. Um, good crystal, good everything. But yeah, it's just that problem. Uh, over here we have a. Uh, Hamilton. I don't think this is an actual Hamilton. It's made in Hong Kong, like it said. Uh, but still, cool watch. Um, mechanical movement, wind up, crystal's good, case is good, back is pretty good too. So everything here is workable. 
I just bought this watch so I could work on it. Uh, it says Hamilton, but like I said, I doubt that it is real. Uh, but still, a uh, cool find. If this was real, it would be quite a pricey watch. Next, I have this Casio 1010. Um, this is going to be my daily wear from now on. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a great watch. Um, I got a blue version of this a while back, but I wanted to find it again, like I said. So I found it and I bought it. I was willing to pay ten, but just wanted a little discount from it. So this will be a um, a keep in my collection for the first time. Actually, I've sold all of my past watches. At, um, so yeah, this is a, this is a cool find. Um, I was not expecting to find the same model again. Okay, next up we have this uh, Cor Corvado, Cordero, I think it's Cordero. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is a really expensive watch. Um, This is a uh, Cordero, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a Swiss movement. I thought it was a Chinese because Siegel, I'm pretty sure is Chinese, but this is an older model, probably like 1990s, 1980s automatic movement that works and I actually sold this for sixty dollars a few days ago um, this is a voiceover so it's in my hands right now but yeah extremely cool watch the band is kinda breaking but yeah okay next up we have here a Bulova L7 um, a super cool watch uh, I thought it was working but it isn't because uh, I was shaking it and it did make a few ticking a uh, few ticking noises, but it doesn't work um, But still uh, I did sell this for $50 on eBay surprisingly um, So yeah, those two basically made my money back um, Yeah, super cool watch too. Um, it, it's a shame that this is not working because It's a really nice good condition the patina on the dial was really good on a uh, watch like that Okay, next up we have the Snoopy watch I found. This is a pretty cool Snoopy, and I was really uh, surprised when I found out the price of this because I thought it just looks like an old, maybe like 1980s watch, but it turns out this is from 1958. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty old watch, and it is running, as you can see. Um, and I tested it, and it does keep time, surprisingly. And for a watch as old as this, it's crazy to find these in good condition. I mean, this one still has the original band and work keeps time. So yeah, this is a super cool watch. I actually sold this for a whopping $66. So yeah, this might be like one of the best finds. It's not as good as one of the finds I got today though. Okay, so next up I got this Sika, um, not Sika, uh, my bad, Tissot Seastar 7 automatic watch uh, I think it's the ladies but um, I only sold this for 22 expecting it to be more valuable but I accidentally made the bid go end too soon so there's a setting in there where you can set it five days or three days and I thought that I had accidentally reset it so I put it at the lowest amount and it ended it in 12 hours so uh, yeah I, I unfortunately I only got to sell this for $22 but still, I made my profit. I made a bunch of profit on the other things. But yeah, and it is a really cool watch. I mean, this is probably um, a military watch, military issued. It says Militar on the dial. Um, tell me in the comments below. I don't know. I don't know that much about vintage watches as of the moment since I have just started um, doing this stuff. But still, really cool find. This is actually my first T-cell I've ever found or. Um, yeah, I've ever found and bought. Okay, next up, this is a really cool find. This is a Swatch 1996 Olympics watch, and this is new old stock. And so what that means is that it's basically brand new, still in box and everything. Um, so, yeah, this is a super cool watch. I mean, it, it's not running, but I guess it's been in the box for that long. Although I don't think it had a battery in the first place, or maybe it had a tad because it's in the original position. Uh, yeah, original paperwork still in there, authentic guaranteed on the box. And if you look closely, there's still the price tag on the bottom of the box, on the underside, which it had originally sold for $40. So this might be one of the coolest finds I've ever had on um, my channel, or that I've ever had in... Yeah, this is just a super cool watch, a super unique watch. 
uh, and this in this good condition, new old stock, you can't find stuff like this anymore. I mean, yeah, so this might have to stay in my collection, but I could probably sell this for only $20, but I'd rather keep this in my collection than sell it for that price. Okay, next up, this is the best find and the last find of the day. Uh, my mom actually got this. Um, I had loaned her uh, like a forty dollars or something around there, so that's why she said that I didn't have to pay for it. So uh, this is a Seiko watch, and I expected this to be around like twenty, thirty dollar watch, especially when working, which it is. And so I searched it up, and these are actually selling for. 70 90 and 120 dollars very frequently and I was I was pretty astonished simply and the reason why this is so expensive is that it was in a James Bond movie apparently and the silver ones go for like thousands of dollars so guys this looks like a regular like Rolex Seiko copy but the it could be big money yeah like you like you wouldn't like notice this it looks like normal Seiko but yeah, this is a super cool find. I was not expecting this to be so valuable compared to the other watches I found. So yeah, thanks mom. Uh, this was a great find. Like I said, sold it for 75 Probably could have gotten more for it, but yeah, I just want to get rid of it quick, get my money back. And yeah, um, that's all the finds for today, guys. Uh, what do you think of this haul? Do you think it was a good one or a bad one? Uh, what do you think of stuff I put in this video? I put like a money tracker and I put some better images and stuff on stuff. Uh, so yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, should I make more of these videos? I know you guys like the previous videos since they're my most successful videos to date, surprisingly. So yeah, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, unfortunately, everything here mostly is sold. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.